I'm gonna go and visit the Winter Olympic sites. So I am looking forward to this because I've been to some of those before and uh, I'm wondering how it's gonna turn out. Arrived at the venue for the dinner, and I think I'm first here. Just behind me over there is the banner for the opening ceremony of the event that we're going to be, uh, be hosted on. I will post more things during the presentation, during the opening, and you'll see what is happening with it. The opening is behind us. We are all done and settled in this official part. Um, it's time to change the outfit and uh, dress to something more casual. There's a distance between us. You will be able to see the transformation, how the place looks inside in just a little while. During the games, all the athletes will go in slot in this way. Right now, I'm inside of the arena. Uh, this is the place where I'm sitting right now, is the ice skating ring. It is going to be filled with hockey players and with audience. Behind me, you can see how magnificent this place is, and you'll be able to enjoy these games around the world. When we are already in this arena, it is, I think it's time for us to try out skating. And let's see if I can still remember how to do that. My old friend taught me uh, how to handle skates, but let's see how much I still remember. I am on ice. Oh, oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh goodness! I haven't done this in a, such a long time. Oh jeez! Oh, 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 oh. uh, we can do this. Hopefully, just can't remember. Like. Steven, if you ever see this, I am uh, not dead because of you. And uh, from the Winter Olympics training site, goodbye until I come back alive. I have lived to see another day, and now I am going back to the changing room to get undressed, and we will continue this tour somewhere else. Somebody who was in their group was in Fujian, it seems, and now we are all gonna go and do a COVID test because, well, just to be on the safe side of things, right?
quick, you're out of focus, you're all blurred. This is cool, <laughs> this is very cool. So, let's try to get some work done. We are leaving the oval behind. We are on the way towards the training facility where they are preparing the athletes for the upcoming Olympic Games. You can see the actual ice and the actual place where people practice for these Olympic Games. This is where their daily grind make a difference for that final step. We are close to the rail station and we are going to Zhangjiakou for the next thing and the next step of the way. Okay, we are out of the train. We are in the Olympic Village for the snow sports. is the cable car and that takes you up to the uh, top of the hill from which the Olympic skiers are going to be coming through. This place is absolutely huge. There is no way that I can show it to you without without using a fish lens. It's like I don't know. It's it's it's, it's insane. Um, we are now at the ski jumping flat platform, and we will go towards the comp competitors' viewpoint, and we will take a look and we will see what they see. And this is something that I'm kind of scared of because I'm scared of heights a little bit. So being there on the edge is going to definitely be a different experience. It has started to rain, but I've managed to come down to the very edge of where the athletes leap from. So this edge over here is where they jump off and they end up all the way down there. So here, and they start all the way up there and from there they'll zzzz. we are at the very bottom of the ski jump so this <laughs> i have never been uh, onto a ski ramp before so i could never imagine of how big this thing is so these guys are actually going i don't know 100 kilometers per hour when they go down and they fly through the air and they land on a football court I think they are the true pilots. It's easy when you have wings and you fly. These guys fly without wings and that's scary. That's scary. I've been to the top and now I'm at the bottom and it's... I, I, look, my legs are still shaking. We are leaving the ski ramp. We're going to go to a location where we will shoot it from a different angle in the night. But now I finally have this place for myself. And I want to make a grand exit with this thing being behind me. And I just want to walk out with you so you can try to enjoy the view for a few seconds because you may never have the opportunity to see something like this to be here or to experience it so I'll kind of walk out of the shot but you will stay behind you know if you see it in the middle of the night it's like awesome it's like I felt like I was in X-Files let's go in, let's go in
Uh, we are inside of the heart of one of the coal silos that we will have the closing ceremony on. Soon we are going to go onto the stage, we will give our closing remarks, we will showcase the work, we will show the places and venues and how we see them. And it's going to be until the next time. Here behind me are all of the people who have made this happen. Everybody who took part is here. I'm in a camp on the way to the airport. It has been, it has been a really good trip. Uh, we've seen, we've seen a lot. We've experienced a lot. I've managed to create some contents that I'm really happy with. And I'm really proud to be here and to be invited to take part in events such as this because it gives, um, it gives recognition to the things that I've been working on that I've been striving for. And mind you, I'm never entirely happy with what I do with my work and uh, I'm always trying to do more and I'm always trying to find a new thing to do. I don't know how good that is, but I hope that this path that I've set for myself, because nobody else is doing it, I, I'm doing that, that it is going to take me somewhere and I will enjoy the road because the destination is just the end, right? What I do along the way is what I think counts ultimately. So until I come back to Beijing again, it was great being here and hope to see everybody soon.